Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Ada that'll reform in the Caribbean and potentially bring major impacts to Cuba and southern Florida. Its wind field will likely be very large. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video so it gets this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's forecast for Ada. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for the Cayman Islands, where the tropical storm wind field will be very large. It will grow very large very quickly. And we have tropical storm watches for almost the entire country of Cuba, excluding the far southeast portion of it. And all those could be upgraded to warnings. I expect lots of tropical storm watches to be issued for southern Florida as we get closer to Florida, and it will bring very heavy rain and damaging winds. This will be a very major storm to watch despite it only being a tropical storm. This is estimated total rainfall from the system, and you can see in southern Florida and the Miami area, all the keys included, 6 to 10 inches of rain from Ada is expected, and as we get more north than Miami, it drop substantially to four to six inches, two to four inches, and then one to two inches. Where it goes after it enters the gulf is quite uncertain, with the cone being so large, and we don't really have a clue where it's going to go after that. These are current tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. You see the orangish color there is 40 to 50 percent chance to see tropical storm force wind speeds. These chances are expected to increase rapidly once the system becomes a tropical storm. This is intensity guidance for Ada, and you can see all the models have it being a tropical storm with only one reaching major hurricane status, which is kind of odd, and I believe that is very, very, very unlikely. It will likely reach no stronger than a tropical storm. I would say there is a very, very slim possibility for a Category 1 hurricane, but otherwise it is expected to remain a tropical storm at this time. These are some of the potential paths Ada could take, and you can see it's very split. It's split from a Louisiana landfall, an Alabama landfall, a Panhandle landfall, or even a Central Florida landfall, or it goes straight into the middle of the Gulf and dissipates in the Gulf of Mexico without a second landfall. It's very uncertain, which is why the cone gets so large, and nobody's location should be ruled out at this time, but the Panhandle through Louisiana should watch closely. This is the 06Z GFS run, and you can see where the L993 is. That is Tropical Storm Ada approaching Cuba. The lower the number, the stronger the system. That is November 8th. And it makes a landfall in the Bahamas and towards the Miami area, strengthening slightly November 9th. It is unlikely to make a direct landfall in the Bahamas, but it is a possibility. And it hangs out along the coast of Florida and dissipates in central Florida by November 12th. This is one model, one scenario that could happen. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, and you can see they're very warm in the Caribbean with widespread 29 degrees Celsius waters. But as you get towards Florida and the Gulf of Mexico, those temperatures drop to 27, 26, and along the immediate coast, 22 and below. As we saw with Zeta, the waters did absolutely nothing to weaken the system. But while the system is expected to be pretty small in terms of size, but not wind field, the wind field will be large. It may weaken it slightly, but I do not expect any significant weakening. Question of the day for this video is what is your favorite part of the year 2020? What happened this year that was fun for you and was your favorite moment in the entire year? Comment your answers below, and I will come over. That's the trusted weather forecast for upcoming tropical storm Ada that will bring major impacts to Cuba and Florida. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.